Hello, welcome to YouTube channel of RVMax.us. My name is Sachin Shaw. We are in Greenville, South Carolina. Look at that beautiful sunset. Take my glasses off, it's really beautiful out here. Today what we have behind me is a 2007 American Eagle model 45D, D as in Delta. We sell all kinds of motorhomes. American Eagle always have a great spot in my heart or our family's heart. We've had several of these. Personally, we used it. This one has a 500 horsepower ISM motor, diesel engine, Cummins with a six speed MH4000 transmission, rides on a K2 Spartan chassis, it's changing color exterior, beautiful. As you can see, it goes from purple, green, blue, just a gorgeous color scheme, one of a kind. You don't see a lot of these motorhomes, especially of this era. Very few flaws, if I can find any flaws here. Maybe just a little bit right here. Oh, let's go around front. You want to go around front? We can go either way. Beautiful front, no 3M issue. I mean, it's in gorgeous shape, man. I'm telling you what, I don't even see any road rock chips. This thing is extremely well kept. Real chrome bumper, not a fake plastic with a chrome polish. The whole front comes out to reveal the generator. One piece panoramic windshield. This color strip also changes from a different angle as you see it. Um, all these windows are not foggy. There are a few of them that I'll show you which one. We can actually open up the generator here and show you the generator. So this strip right here changes color too, beside having a beautiful front. All right, let's come around here. Uh, this front compartment, you have a hydraulic slide for the generator. It'll slide out 4,000 watt generator, um, 4, 10,000 watts generator. We have a chuck right here, air chuck, so you can pump up your own air from right there. Um, even, I think this Eagle is air conditioned. You can charge them from here, dash air. And I love this Summit uh, chrome accent or chrome accessory going all the way on the bottom uh michelin tires they're in good shape they've got tire covers on the other side i'll show you check this out lp tank it is like a massive uh yeah, it says 30 30 30.7 gallon look at the bottom how clean it is it's not open an element by the way if you wanted to take that lp tank out you could because the only thing it serves is a gas stove. Other than that, this coach is all electric. That eight batteries on the other side will show you. It has household refrigerator and aqua hot heating. So LP is only for gas stove. Got a couple little nick snack, but other than that, no damage. It's straight body. All right. We have a pass through storage. And I like this pass through storage in American Eagle. They, they split this, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, the storage tray, you see the fabric is in excellent shape. That's a proof of a well taken care of a coach. Used, but not abused. Over here, another slide out tray. Let's open it up. Got an extra, probably sewer hose because you have a, it's not sewer hose, but for sewer floss. Okay, we have a wash bay right here. Got a sensor tank. You can see all your levels from here. Your gray tank, black tank, liquid propane, fresh tank. Has outside shower. Also, you have a sewer flush. And also has a macerator, sewer macerator. Here, we got a 450 DE big boy aqua hot heating system along with a Power cord reel for your water. Dirt Devil vacuum system. Central vacuum system. And listen to this, doors. I mean, I don't have to. This guy had it service at a Mazafiato coach in Seneca. I'm going to shout out to Richard White. They do a really good job. It was serviced there. Now listen to this. It just shuts, barely. Those folks had American coaches. They need adjustment all the time, and you got to slam those doors. A little, little uh, road rock chip there, one here. But overall, look at this paint. 
I guess you're gonna get tired of telling me of me telling you all this changing color. Beautiful, big slide out in a bedroom. Check this out. It's not just a little bed. It's a wide slide. Over here we have a electric power cord reel along with your TV cable hookups, all that stuff. Side mount radiator. That chrome summit chrome comes all the way back here. I don't see any body damage on this side. It's in excellent condition. Roof was just recently sealed. Another chrome bumper. Got a little ding here. Probably was a trailer or something they're trying to hook up. Got a little ding, a little dimple. Not a big deal. 15,000 pound massive towing capacity. So you can bring on your stacker trailer. Bring it on. Put a couple of your toys back there. It will tow 15,000 pounds. Coach was serviced regularly. We got ISM big motor here. It's almost, they call them M11 back in the days. It's an ISM 500 horse. A lot easier to work on as everything is here. Your antifreeze goes here, hydraulic fluid, all that stuff. It's very easy to oil, air filter. All that is simply, simply serviceable back here. Look at the backside, it's in really good shape. If you can nitpick this, this is a plastic chrome thing. It's kind of faded out a little bit. Not a big deal. That's some age related flaws that'll come along. You got a big mud guard on the back, it says Eagle. So there it is, bam, 500 horsepower. Come along this driver's side. Let's go through all the, this is where your cranking batteries are. Look at all those filters in great shape. That's your power gear, hydraulic tank, and that's where all, all the jacks work. So you got two cranking batteries there. Some chassis component, yep, extra belts, all that stuff, a little storage. Once again, tires in a great shape. No dry checking. I think a couple, we're gonna put a couple of new tires in the front. Good tires in the back. Over here, we'll have eight brand new interstate batteries. We'll just install them. Eight brand new batteries from Costco. They're not, they're not that bad. But it's good to have a new battery. That must be locked. Keep going. Tire covers, and that's the reason tires are in a great shape. Some people say five years. Michelin people tell you 10 years. When they get to the 10 years anniversary, you get rid of your tires. That is the storage you saw from the other side. I mean, fabric on the bottom of the slides are in excellent shape. That's a great evidence of motorhome was that kept in good, good, good shape. That's an older flat panel TV comes out. And then you have a couple of, um, let me pull it out and show you. So on the back, you have a little cupboard speaker, a radio here. It still works. And you got little speakers back here. I kind of like this height. Some people have big TVs here, but this one, if you're sitting down, imagine I'm going to squat in a camping chair. It's at your eye level. I like that, especially tailgating season right now. Love that. But you could change this to a smart TV. There you go. It locked in place. Man, I love the way it shuts. So we're right back at where we belong, where we started from. A lot of window awning, bedroom here. I think bedroom's got a couple of foggy windows and a bathroom has a foggy window. Just a little fog, maybe slight fog here on top window. Uh, let's go inside and show you inside. It's beautiful, look at this. Power step. So let's go inside and show you the inside. American Eagle. Look at this. Nice marble type ceramic tiles with a nice square insert in every four squares. So two sofas. I love this. 
floor plan. This floor, I mean this sofa, <laughs> opens up in a full bed and it's got an air mattress. Look at the leather. That's not ultra leather. That's a real leather in really good shape. Uh, and you got another sofa across. Beautiful wood. I think, what do you call this? Maple? Uh, I don't know. Oh, maple? I, I don't know the color. But it's beautiful. Look at this rope looking thing right here. Nice corner piece here. By the way, no water leaky. This roof was maintained really well. Um, over here, the kitchen consists of dual ceramic sinks. You have some uh, storage down below, convection oven, more storage up here, storage down below. It is a gas stove. That's why we have that big tank. That's what I was talking about. You could probably put an electric stove top here and get rid of that. And uh, people probably wonder, why am I talking about it? Well, it's just you can make this coach all electric coach. That's all. If you wanted to do that, the sink covers are not there, but it's not a big deal. You can have a little cutting board or something. You put them up. Um, this extension opens up. So you can bring it out more when you have a more than two people sitting and eating a dinette area got a lots of counter space back here day and night shades are in a very very good shape especially burgundy side right here that the dark burgundy really really good shape you got a yes uh, the accent light behind the windows yep uh, coming here this coach has an office area. How about that? I love it. Oh, by the way, oh God, that's a big, huge paperwork. You got a Spartan chassis, all the manuals, the motorhome side manual, all the manuals are here, owner's manual. I love this. It's a big suitcase, right in the right place, office place. So you got file cabinet on the bottom, couple of drawers that's your circuit breaker all your 120 circuit breaker and right above it you have our sound you hear is a central vacuum system nice leather chair I mean nowadays people have an iPad but hey if you like to do some work this is your work study area with some cabinets up on top behind me I have a household Maytag, beautiful refrigerator here. French style freezer on the bottom. And when you're traveling, all you do is put this lock and it's locked so it won't come out. Right next to the refrigerator, we have a washer and dryer. Really nice stack unit. center part of the coach you just unlock this and let's see if this is uh this. there we go we got a beautiful solid door that's not hollow american eagle does a really good job just lock this thing back in a place there we go come back in this area we have a private toilet area pretty good size I don't remember which American Eagle or another coach. The toilet area was kind of cramped. This one's got plenty of room. Lots of room. People are taller. You got a lot of room for knee. Have uh, two sinks. One sink here, one out there. Medicine cabinet. Cabinet back here. Yeah. This Eagle, they have like a nice uh, wood cover on three fantastic fan. One in the kitchen area, one in a private toilet. And one here in a shower area. Let me show you the shower area. Unlock it, open up. Nice, comf comfortable space. I'm almost six feet and uh, got lots of room up on top. Really nice shower, glass enclosed shower. Tile continues here. You got another sink, another medicine cabinet. So you have a his and her. Some storage below it. 
Come in the bedroom, we have a king-size bed. How about that? Really nice. And I like the fact that it's got a nice headboard in the back. One of the motorhome we had, I think, had a window in the back. I don't like it. I like the windows on the side. And I would be sleeping on this side. I like my head to be warm. No window on this side. It has a bigger nightstand. That side has a smaller, but you still have a plug-in, or what do you call it? charge your iPhone or Android or whatever you have. That's your ceiling fan up on top. I guess uh, probably need a remote. Also, talking about remote, they have a lock and unlock from here. So if someone knocks on a door, you can lock off. Honey, did you lock the door? You could just hit it here and lock the door instead of getting up. Some storage along the top, on side. Back here, we got a coat closet. They have a separate doors. All right, here's your all the uh, central vacuum system accessories. Pretty deep. You see how deep? Coat class is very, very deep. I think I checked the light bulbs, but nice storage. Let's see what's here. Oh, another storage. How about that? It does have a little bit of a, like a previous moisture or water intrusion slight stain, but it's not a big deal. We have a safe back here because roof has been just sealed. It's in great, great shape. But you know, this is a 2007. You can find nitpick some stuff. Those folks I'm, who, who know who I'm talking about. We have a three-roof air conditioner, beautiful accented ceiling. That's that's where you change your 20 by 20 uh, filter filter system. It's simple to change. Uh, let's see what else I can cover if I forgot. Those are the slide-out control. Plenty of room back in the bedroom, as you can see. You saw me walking around. Ceiling here. Oh, yeah, I'd like to mention like, when I was talking about, it's got a little ripple here. Thank you. And a one slight ripple here. Oh, that needs a bulb. By the way, speaking of bulb, you can change all to LED and they will be brighter and they will use less battery or less voltage, you know, amps. Yeah, I've got a couple of uh, very slight ripple and maybe one around here in the bedroom, okay? Just a, I call that age related. I don't know what happened. It's been raining here the last few days. Uh, off and on, we have not seen any water leak. The previous owner said he had a seal, roof was sealed. One time he said he had a, uh shower light was leaking skylight and he had it repaired yes thanks for uh mentioning that so he's got unlock that he's got a big door two doors that pull behind each other thank you for reminding me a couple of flaws and stuff so hey i'll tell you what this thing is in really good shape uh, despite some age-related flaws, if I would call that. And with this, I think we're going to get on the road. We're going to go over the cockpit area. Oh, let me show them that digital TV that had been changed. That's not an original TV right here. Let me turn this Samsung TV on. We don't get too much into audio video, but uh, let's see. Did I turn it on? Yep, I did. Okay, nice uh, Samsung uh, uh, smart TV. I uh, haven't gone through this Bose, and it's got a wind guard dish. It's got a dish uh, receiver and all that. I think you have to have your own account. Okay. I'm going to just turn it off here. Let's go over this, uh, some of this stuff right here. So, over here, we have a floor heat. Front and a rear. I love that. It even has a heat under the carpet back in the bedroom. Those are your gold heat. So these are heated floor. That is an extra upgrade. You have a aqua hot heating, diesel burner, engine preheat. All that is right here. That's your extend and retract outside entrance awning. That's your patio awning. Over here, we have a thermostat. We have a two inverters on board. Right now, they're showing uh, float charge. This is your smart electronic management system. Uh, we got a um, sensor tank here, inverter control. From This is like a Xantrax if you want to do auto gen start. That is your um, antenna, and I'm going to stow it. I was going to put it in travel. I've got it raised right now. Just be in travel, in travel mode. That's about it here. Some DVDs. That's your KVH uh, satellite dish.
of all remote controls. But that will conclude our interior video. Let's go through cockpit area and we'll hit the road. Yeah, we're on a road here. We're also going to get on interstate in just a little bit. So far, motorhome drives really, really nice. It has a heated seat, power seats. Uh, the passenger seat has an electric recliner. Um, lots of options. Really nice, comfy. Is this a flax steel here? Yep, flax steel seats. Uh, driving is so easy in the highway. I'm on, on, a, on the back road, I'm about 40 miles an hour. Uh, once we get on the highway, we're going to check the cruise control, etc. Let's check the brakes. I've got it on low exhaust brakes, and man, it is just working like a champ. You put on a high mode of exhaust brakes or engine brakes, it will literally stop you without touching a fuel pedal. So turn signals work. We check all of those stuff, you know, your turn signal safety features, brake lights, all that. We'll check all that out. Uh, so far, so good, running really nice. We're gonna get on a highway and give you more feedback of the brakes, the steering, the wind condition, all that. We are entering a highway. So let me tell you a little bit about the uh, construction of this Spartan K2 chassis. Fleetwood or American Eagle call it a Liberty chassis. It has an independent suspension in the front. You've got the ISM. 11 liter big Cummins with a 1550 pound foot of torque at about 1200 rpm we got a massive whooping 15,000 pound towing capacity to tow all your toys stacker trailer whatever you want to do um man this thing is just it loves road we had a 07 american eagle personally with the same motor and i'll tell you what this motor it's, it's just awesome. This one only got 41,000 miles, so it's not even broken in. I mean, these are like a million miles motors. Air conditioned, gas, AC, everything works. I'm doing about 70 miles an hour. Let's engage the cruise. And uh, my cruise has engaged at about 65 miles an hour, and I can go faster just keeping up with the traffic here. They say that, you know, you get the best fuel mileage around 60, 65 miles an hour. Now this thing will haul butt. You can go 70, 80 miles an hour. It's got a hundred miles an hour speedometer. Uh, a little known fact of that Liberty chassis, the way they made this uh, Spartan chassis, but they actually put a little nickel on top of the engine, uh, engine cover and it didn't rattle off. The vibration is so minimum, the way chassis is built. It's strong yet smooth uh, man easy to drive look at this let's see i'm gonna increase my speed from 65 to 70 just right from here by the way the uh door has a air pot what do you call that boo -boo? What, what did it say there something about air release and normal miss normal miss when you put in a drive you put on normal has an air suction it sucks the door in to give you quiet ride, no more air hissing. And uh, when you when you want to get out while the engine is running or in a drive, you have to put in a release. Otherwise, the air has sucked the door in. That's that's really nice feature that Eagle did. Uh, let's see. I mean, drives really nice. It doesn't pull right or left. Just steering straight. I mean, I can go to Florida right now. Which we may be going to Florida, not this, but another car to go get a bus. All right, so. Let's end this video with this 2007 American Eagle 45D, beautiful changing color exterior, few flaws, but overall straight body, uh, nothing major going on. Front 3M film is in excellent shape, 40,000 miles, about 800 hours on a 10,000 watt generator, big motor, big towing capacity, uh, four slide out, really nice floor plan. Uh, we do take trades. We also help you get financing done, especially if you got over 650, 700 score. The higher the score, the better rate you're going to get. Uh, my number is 864-404-0054. Or you can call our son at 864-376-5600.
We do take trade once again. We help you get financing. We also sell warranty. If you like to have one, buy from us. You can buy one online. We never push you. Um, we take pride in the size of our dealership. We're small, so we can pay more focus on a quality. Not that I'm saying it's a perfect mud on. They'll never be. And, uh, you know, but we, we make sure it's camp ready. Like, we put ourselves in it to see if you can go and camp right now. As a matter of fact, mine is camping right now. My wife and I are going to go camp. We, we like camping and making sure these motorhomes are road ready. Let's see, I'm going to take this exit. So exhaust brake, I'm going to turn it on to the high and just hit. I'll tell you what. I got it on high and the brakes are just surging. And I'm not even touching my foot to the brake paddle. And I'm coming up to the hill. Look, it might not even make it to the traffic light. I may have to get a fuel to get it up there. That's a glory of engine brakes with two, two stage. There's so much stuff I can talk about it, but hey, I can go on and on. And uh, well, thank you for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you guys. There are subscribers. And hit that. I think a bell button, it'll notify you when we put our next video up. Anything else I could add, Boom? That's it. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.